Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. It's Game Grumps time. How you doing, sweet babies? Oh, man. I bet you're all doing pretty great, huh? I love it. Watching Game Grumps, laying back on your chair, on your Probably bed. Probably J-ing-o. J-ing-o while you're watching Game Grumps. Good for you. Good um, for you, everybody. J-ing-o-ing two Game Grumps? Anyone who's actually J-ing-o-ing... J-ing-o, I guess. Uh, while they watch this episode, will be like, Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jake, stop J-ing O while you're watching Game Grumps. Oh, dude, you just fucked up someone's day. <laughs> G uh, G uh, wh what? My nightmare come to life. <laughs> Great Goron, I found some! Uh, oh. Still butterflies! <laughs> Those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. It's a horrible <laughs> infestation of beautiful butterflies that respond to lovely tones. <laughs> then he just walks over and pulls down his pants and starts shitting on the floor. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the perfect spot. And then he just walks away. Wow. Oh, this could be a problem. I can't carry a tune. I could not create beautiful <laughs> tones if wild animals threatened to roll me down a hill. I wasn't Sorry. sure if I was speaking in the affirmative or negative <laughs> as words were coming out. What can we do? Well, I guess I, I don't know. I know I can't help you with words. Play some beautiful tones. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you rang. Boyoing. Boyoing. That is it. One of the talk- oh, that's you. That is it! One of the talking statues of ancient text spoke of! There is just no mistaking it. Whoops. I was mistaken. <laughs> Sweet, an ornamental skull. That bodes well for us. Dude, you got six ornamental skulls. Thanks, I'm glad like it reminded predator. me. <laughs> Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play a tune of great beauty, and a gossip stone might just pop out of the ground with a boyoing. <laughs> Did you hear about Stacy? <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch, am I right? <laughs> anyway, this has been your update from the gossip stone. <laughs> <laughs> Save. Stacy was totally going out with Mark. <laughs> but now she's going out with Steve instead. And Jennifer is like, what the fuck? Because Steve was dating Jennifer, and they did break up, but it wasn't like official official. <laughs> it still says in a relationship on their Facebook page. Until you make it Facebook official, <laughs> it's not real. You know who taught me that? Heart to heart. <laughs> you know who taught me that? The other gossip stone over there. <laughs> hey, did you hear about Wendy? <laughs> God, damn God damn it, gossip stone. <laughs> Just get me some fucking help. Oh, I'll help you. <laughs> Have you been to the Out of the Closet on Sunset? That place has this employee there named Marcus, and he's a real prick. He's actually dating Stacy right now. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> How oddly specific. What? Just an Out of the Closet on X Street reference. Oh, yeah. I don't even think there's an Out of the Closet on Sunset. Probably not. It's a sweet thrift store, though. So there's one on Santa Monica. There's one on... Is the one near the Sizzler? Glendale Boulevard? Something like that? In... Atwater? Yes. That's the one near the Sizzler, bro! There's a Sizzler there? Hell yeah, there's a Sizzler there. Have you been there? Hell no, it's a Sizzler. <laughs> <laughs> then why do you remember there's a Sizzler there? Because I was like, oh my god, a Sizzler! <laughs> there's a Sizzler in Shinjuku, which is where I always... Like, right next to where I always stay, in the hotel district. I have no honest idea if it's good or not. Sizzler? Yeah. My mom used to work there. All I remember- that's awesome. Uh, mm. bit, oh, our bird is back to full health. The only okay. thing I remember from Sizzler is that my mom used to work there, mm -hmm. and then one day, uh, she like- I, she had to- like, she was the only guardian, and she was working, so I just like had to sit in the Sizzler, and she was like, why don't you go see a movie or something, and like gave me some cash. And then I went and saw the Tom and Jerry movie where they talk. What? Yeah. That was a real thing? Yeah, and I like, I felt so cool that I was going to a movie on my own. Yeah, there are certain times where you see a movie and like the experience of it is so much better than the movie itself. That's why like, oh, 
To reach Zelda, you must enhance your sword using the sacred flames. Evidence suggests the battle of the goddess, which has been known in Skylaf for generations, may hold a clue to location. Yeah. Now, in the case, your best course of action is to search Skylaf and current session playtime. Yeah, I was just, I was hoping she would tell me who it is. Mm. But I guess I'll just look. Yeah, around. I, I had a really good experience with my dad seeing the Batman Forever movie, the one with Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Yeah. And so I always think of that movie as way more awesome than it probably actually is. <laughs> yeah. Is it not that great? Uh... It's entertaining. That's all I ask of Is that movie. the one with the bat credit card? Or was that Batman and Robin? That sounds like a Batman and Robin thing. That's a... That's a rough one. Okay. Chill yeah. out. Well, Forever was... yeah, Forever was the first Bruckheimer one. Mmm, yes. Okay. And yeah, that one was like, oh, it's Jim Carrey! And that Tommy Lee Jones! A zillion billion dollars! Mm-hmm. He was like the... it was the first... It was like the highest paycheck anyone had ever made. Was it the cable guy? Oh, is that the first one where he met, like, made 20 million? Something like yeah, that? Yeah, it was the cable guy. That's crazy. Isn't that ridiculous? That's so much scratch. So much... S scoon. Yeah, I don't. Oh. What would you do with twenty million dollars? Buy a house, like a big twenty million dollar house. Or no, like I'd buy like a like normal a four, house. four million dollar house. Oh, but in like a really nice area, so it's not like an oh. ama like a super huge house. A four million dollar house. How quaint. Because like an okay house here in L.A. is like a million dollars. Seems that way. Yeah, it's pretty fucked right now. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I'd probably, in like a really nice location, I'd get like a beach house. Hmm. That'd be cool, right? That would be cool. And then I'd just give a bunch of it to like a bunch of people who want to do projects. And then I'd probably fund some project of my own. Um... That's a good plan. Yeah. And then I'd put- and then I'd buy other properties that I don't want to live in and rent them out. Huh. That's what I'd do. What would you do with 20 million? Uh, gross hookers and Colombian cocaine? Or... Gross cocaine and Colombian hookers? Decisions, decisions. Probably all of them. Hey, it's 20 million, right? Yeah, you could do whatever. I mean, after that, you'd probably have like 19.9 million left. Oh no, I... I have a $40,000 a day coke habit, and... <laughs> I only go for the absolute best hookers. The ones that call themselves escorts. I feel like you could have a forty thousand dollar a day cocaine habit with twenty million dollars. How long would that last? Uh, a long time. Like at least ten years. Four thousand. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of coke. Who am I supposed to talk to about this fucking thing? I don't know. Who's the music man? <laughs> Is it the, one of the guys at the- at the school? Maybe it's one of the guys at the Maybe school. Maybe we should try to understand. Try to understand. Try, try, try to understand! <laughs> He's a music man! Isn't it Magic Man? It is, but I was changing it for the purposes of this playthrough. Yeah, I get it. It's cool. Grab that heart. I don't want the heart. Okay, well, you're one heart short of being- Alright, I'll grab the heart! Jesus! That's what right, are you, my right. mom? I'm what do you work at Sizzler? <laughs> Where every day is a sizzle? All I remember is like the end of the commercials <clears throat> would say, Sizzler. And I thought it was oddly, um, ASMR ish before that was a thing. Is it called the Sizzler because they serve like fajitas? Is that like their thing? Yeah, because it's a sizzling grill that they cook the steaks on. Steaks? Isn't it, is it mostly a steakhouse? I don't know. I don't remember it being mostly a steakhouse. Oh, ha! Huh, that's the spirit! Zelda will be home before even- before you even know it. Just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. Sorry, I wasn't prepared to make that statement. Hey, Spoonbles, you're looking pretty upbeat lately. That's the spirit. The great Gangini repeats himself for no one! <laughs> I won't say words that I already said before! <laughs> like he's just crossing words off a list and then like ten years into it he's like, Masochistic! I did it. Superfluous! Obsequious! There's like five words left. Oh, hello. Are you it? Do you find it to be indefatigable? These past few days, I swear I hear a voice every time I walk past the restroom at night. 
Who in the world is in there? I just wish they'd pipe down. Oh, it's me. <laughs> well, I'm the voice. I'm embarrassed. Who do I fucking talk to? Uh, that's Gr you. Oh. With Cartman's voice. Eh, I just checked Grace's room and the guy's gone. You got any idea where he went? Maybe he had to run away because of his broken heart. What a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy's just a gold-plated shit talker. <laughs> Go sucks, you suck, everyone sucks. I think we should probably When's pause dinner? the episode real quick and find this person. Okay. Okay, sorry! Press We've... continue on my remote. <laughs> That's what makes the timer keep going. It's cool. Uh, sorry, we, uh, we found the young lady we had to be speaking to. We are still in the Skyloft Village. Um, this is Malar- Malaria? That's a terrible name. So, so here's the thing, Spoomples. My house is terribly dirty. Here's the problem, Doctor. <laughs> Pippet is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it. He's so beautiful. <laughs> I've got too much laying around to do. That's why I wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind cleaning it for me. I'll even pay you. Uh, yeah. Clean your house? Yes, please. <laughs> you will? Great. I knew you wouldn't leave me to sit in this dusty house, Spoomples. What do you think? I'm on a time-sensitive mission to save the world or something? No, dude, I can clean this girl, this lady's house. Okay. What's that, a broom? You know, I don't remember where we keep that crazy thing, or if we he ever owned one. Most of the time, I just waited for a good strong wind to come along and blow the dust away. <laughs> you making a cocaine reference? <laughs> because I like it Colombian. <laughs> good strong wind, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> just come over here and help me with this. <laughs> I don't really care how you get the job done. I just want you to blow it all away for me. Okay. Come on, Link. Blow it all away yeah, for me. I don't know where you're going with this young lady, but it does seem like an entendre of some kind. Um, I just gotta use this boy. Just break oh, all her shit. Oh, look at this. We're gonna break all her shit. Just blow it all away. Yep, just break <laughs> all your shit. No That's big really deal. Funny. She doesn't care. What happens if you blow it at her? Oh, does she get all like, is she like, oh! Does she do like a Marilyn Monroe, like, my dress, kind of thing? Yeah, she loves it. Oh, yeah. You like that, baby? Yeah, you like my big blow? <laughs> you like my windy sack? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what a windy You like how I from. destroy most of your property? I think that's it. it. Looks like it's it. Hit her one more time with it. Goddamn right, honey. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to have someone who's going to do some cleaning around here, Spoonbos. When all the dust is gone, I'll give you some money, so make sure you talk to me afterwards, okay? Or are you already done? All done! <laughs> well, that's too bad. Oh, well, let me know if I can... If you can help out next. Oh! What? There's more dust? There's more dust. Where? I um, don't know. <sighs> Alright. Yes, I could do some light cleaning. God, it would be my fucking privilege. Yeah, I know, a broom, haha, ha, we don't have one, blah blah blah. A stiff breeze would come in and blow me away, you know what I'm saying? A stiff breeze. <laughs> oh, maybe upstairs. Is there an upstairs? I think I saw some stairs. Nope, that's a dresser. Dun, dun, dun. Cleaning up this lady's fucking dirty hustle, yeah. Um, I don't see any more dust, webs. man. Right there. All that dust is fucking gone, lady. Don't blow all your <laughs> pots and shit away. Just watching the cups and stuff explode off the table is very enjoyable to me. I mean, that's it, man, right? You see- do I have to, like, destroy all her shit? I don't- that can't be right. It's gotta be- it's gotta be it, right? This has gotta be it. Oh, and all the- oh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh! There's a fucking ground. Damn, honey. Yeah! Calm yourself. Oh, yeah, this place was disgusting. Holy fuck. Dude, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I gotta reset this fucking- Honey, thing. you're a national embarrassment. <laughs> Here we go. I'm like reverse vacuuming. Yeah. This would just put it all in the air. Yeah. 
That's that's why she's going because ah, it's like she's getting the coal miner's lung. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for poisoning me, for taking three years off my life. Thank you. Good job. That's it, right? Yep. This place is fucking gleaming. Whoa, did they like increase the saturation of this place as I was blowing it away? I don't know. Is she wearing a different shirt? Yeah, I think I think they just it, it, like the color saturation went up. Huh? As I was cleaning. Interesting. You've brightened my day. Please come over here and let me pay you. Oh my god. You got it, lady. You got it, my tea posing, honey. Thank you so much, Spoonbills. My home is sparkling clean again. It feels so much better when the place isn't under a blanket of dust. <gasps> no, no, not again! <laughs> ah, my penis! <laughs> <laughs> Must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. It hurt. <laughs> Only 20? I need 30 to talk to Bateau again. I can't let you go without your reward. Watch out, there's some big money coming. BAM! 20 rupees! Whoa, well thank you. That's worth 20 rupees, don't spend it all. The place gets dusty again, I might need you to come back and tidy it up for me. But I'll pay you again, okay? Yeah, fucking A right you will. <laughs> don't tell Pippet about this. He'll only get angry at me for spending money on something he thinks I should be doing myself. You can keep a secret, right? You can keep a secret oh, about I, our secret clean affair. I can keep a secret. <laughs> All right, we did it. We cleaned we up did, a house. We, we cleaned up a house. That's exactly what we wanted to do. That's right? what we set out to do, and that's yeah. what we're doing. Because we are in Side Quest Central out here. Oh, the music thing. Yes, Aaron. <laughs> oh shit. All right, next time on Game. No, we'll... we can't. Really? What? What do you mean? Well, we we there was so much build up. Like that's what the. That's what the pause in the episode was for. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, to, to well, get the, to the person. The joke was that next time on Game Grumps we're gonna get back on track, but next time on Game Grumps we're gonna do another side quest. Ah, yeah. That sort of is on track for us. Yeah, that was it was it was sort of like the the goof. So people like marathoning it would be like, oh these fucking guys. Mm. But it was intentional. Well, I feel a fool. Yeah. Anyway, next time on Game okay. Grumps. Goodbye. It's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a fun one. Dad is looking forward to it. I'll let you guys decide which one of us is daddy. I got a, I got an email from somebody that was like, could you please tell Dan to stop saying daddy? It's oh. making me feel things. Well, get prepared to feel a lot more because now I'm doubling down on daddy. <laughs> it's a daddy double down. A daddy double down? <laughs> is that the new uh, KFC sandwich? No, you don't want any of that. <laughs>